Hey, good morning, sixth grade. This is your language lesson for Friday, April the 10th. Friday, April the 10th. There, there was no language due today. You were supposed to have done your test yesterday, Thursday. <clears throat> you could, if you did not get it done Thursday, get it done today. That needs to be handed in this weekend. <clears throat> Excuse me. I will send a video out uh, announcing what you need to deliver to school this weekend then. So look at book 610, your last language book, lesson one, adjectives. Now you had an exercise on adjectives, you, had, you did some work with adjectives. The last couple lessons in your other book and you had an exercise and adjectives on your test. So this is just more adjective review basically. Remember that adjectives are words that modify nouns or pronouns. They answer the questions which one, what kind, how many, and whose. Alright? The red ball. What kind of ball? My ball. Whose ball? Five balls. How many balls? And that ball over there, which one? Or you could say that, yeah. So adjectives, find nouns, find pronouns, and see which words modify them. Don't forget that a, an, and the are always adjectives. And most of the times, the words between a, an, and the and the noun that they modify, those are also adjectives, okay? The five big blue balloons. The five big blue, all modifying balloons. So check it out, when you have an article, a, an, or the, and you have words between that and the word that the the modifies, uh, check those out, because they are probably adjectives. So keep that in mind. Participles, looking at the top of page one, participles are verb forms used as adjectives. So they are words that could be verbs, okay? But in this case, they're used as adjectives. Look at the uh, examples. Frazzled nerves, crashing waves, broken handle, okay? That handle was broken by so-and-so, that would be a verb. In this case, talking about a broken handle, uh, that's a participle, it's an adverb. Remember how they are diagrammed on a prepositional phrase line around the corner, right? Those are the trickiest adjectives, probably, some of the trickiest adjectives to remember because we see them and we say, oh, there's an adjective, but we forget that it's a participle and we just diagram it on a straight line underneath the noun or the pronoun, so watch out. For those, they end with ing, ed, en, or t. ing, ed, en, or t. So look out for the participles. Predicate adjectives follow a linking verb and modify the subject. Okay? Dairy Queen ice cream is smooth and creamy. Ice cream, smooth and creamy, goes back, connected by the linking verb is. Smooth and creamy. Watch out for them. They get diagrammed on the main line, past the verb, slanted line, and the predicate adjectives. Adjective phrases are prepositional phrases that modify nouns or pronouns. They answer the same questions as adjectives. Right? All of these predicate adjectives, adjective phrases, participles, they all answer, they all stick with those questions. Which one, what kind, how many, and whose? Right? Prepositional phrases. If it's an adjective phrase, it comes right after the word it modifies, okay? You have your indefinite pronoun, some. Some of the books. Of the books, talking about some. In the library. Which books? The ones that are in the library. So if it does not modify the word, uh, answer those questions about the word that comes right before it. It's not an adjective phrase. Part one of lesson one, circle the predicate adjectives 
underline the other adjectives, <clears throat> put parentheses around the adjective phrases. So circle predicate adjectives, words that come after a linking verb and describe the subject. Go back and describe the subject. And underline all the other adjectives, including any <coughs> participles, if there are any. And put parentheses around the adjective phrases. Prepositional phrases that modify noun or pronoun, put parentheses around. Let's look at number two. Let's see if we can pick out all the adjectives, predicate adjectives, and any adjective phrases. Our little schoolhouse in the Northwest Territory was tight and warm, for the cracks were well chinked. All right? What are the adjectives? Well, what are the nouns? There's a schoolhouse. Is there anything that says whose schoolhouse or what kind of schoolhouse? Our little needs to be underlined. This is number two on page one. Where was this schoolhouse? In the Northwest Territory. That's an adjective phrase. Was tight and warm. Schoolhouse was tight, warm. Circle. Tight and warm as predicate adjectives. Comma for, that's a conjunction in this case. This is a compound sentence. The cracks were well chinked. Adjective the. Cracks is the subject. Cracks were well chinked. What is well chinked? Well chinked is another predicate adjective describing the cracks. All right? Number four, rolling tumbleweeds sped across the dry Kansas prairie. Adjectives. What kind of tumbleweeds? Rolling. What else do you know about rolling? Rolling could be a verb, right? So that's actually a participle. If you want to put a P on top of it, you can just to show that that is a participle, that I-N-G, rolling tumbleweeds, but in this case it's what kind of tumbleweeds? The rolling tumbleweeds. If it would say the tumbleweeds were rolling, then that would be a verb, right? Were rolling across the prairie, that would be a verb. But rolling in this case is an adjective and it's a participle, verb form. And then you have the dry Kansas, all describing prairie. So adjectives, get adjectives straight. Adjectives Get diagrammed under the words they modify. Adjective phrases, prepositional phrases, go under the word that they modify. In the example number two, you have, no, or was it? No, the example that they give, the adjective phrase on the top, before, before number one, you have two adjective phrases, some of the books in the library. Of the books would be under some, and then in the library would start under the object of the preposition books and go from there, right? Always put pre prepositional phrases with the words they modify. Look at your diagrams. Examples of diagrams. Adjectives go with the words they modify. Predicate adjectives come after the verb, after the linking verb, slanted line, straight line. So on the top of page two, the broken handle is a nuisance. Nuisance is the predicate adjective. You see how it's diagrammed. Broken is a participle. You see how it's diagrammed. So pay attention to that. I have the diagram for Number seven on the board here. Give a couple of these diagrams. Here's the diagram for number seven. Book 610, lesson one, number seven. That's what your diagram looks like. So copy it down. Do that. Let's just look quickly at your spelling words yet, <clears throat> then please have this lesson finished for Monday. Spelling words, frequently misspelled words. Argument, neither. Arctic, grammar, misspell, think about, 
what the common mistake might be in these words, okay? Committee, I'd say that has to do with all the double letters. Britain, succeed, bruise, awkward, wrath, spaghetti, just had that for supper last night, embarrass, interrupt, similar, occasion, vacuum, carriage, license, and antique. Please have this lesson finished for number one, for number one, for Monday. I would say that it is very likely that there will be some of these that are graded, as in you write down the number wrong and keep track of that and hand that in at the end of the week. I would guess that that is the case on this lesson. So, hint, hint. All right, good day.